Good morning guys, I am just getting to the airport this morning. I am on my way to Cincinnati. I was invited to go to the Procter & Gamble head office and their labs. I'm super excited. Um, it's a brand I've always been super intrigued by. They own just about everything that you have in your house. So I thought I would take you along with me. are just here at the PNG offices, one of their headquarters here in Cincinnati, obviously, and we are going to head to their archives to check out all kinds of like old products and things that they've had around for like 200 years. So here is Herbal Essences. You can see like what it started out. It was Clairol before it was acquired by P&G. And then they had a candle, which is amazing. The OG. This stuff is so good. And here's the stuff we've come to know and love. This is old school Pantene. It started off as a vitamin hair tonic for men. And this is what it became. I think that they should bring this back. It looks beautiful. It was like a department store premium product. And then they moved over to this. This is the oil of Olay, which I think is just so beautiful. I think they should bring this back. Old school razors. Does anybody remember using one of these? And I finally upgraded to that. And now this is over here. Start it from the bottom, baby. Some old school <laughs> secret. Actually looks super cute. Perks Plus and then old school head and shoulders. Funny story, the night I met my boyfriend, he asked me if I used head and shoulders and told me I smelled like it. Four years later, here we are. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just like more soapy kind of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a little strong. Yeah. It is a beautiful day here in Cincinnati. I've never been here before, but it's so pretty. And we learned the craziest fact. Um, soap operas were in created by P&G. Um, initially, they were like creating, I guess, kind of like radio things. I'm messing up the story now, but basically they were creating like ads and reading things out over the air for women while they were home all day cleaning. But then it turned into soap operas because they wanted them to be more kind of story based while they were home cleaning all day because they had used like those washing boards. This is like years and years ago. Um, but that's where it came from because like Procter and Gamble started via soap. So they became soap operas and they've actually won like 100 Emmys because of these soap operas and started it. And I had no idea, like mind was blown when I heard that. I thought that was so funny and I'm actually this isn't a soap opera that they worked on, um, but Days of Our Lives, I'm pretty sure I'm named after Samantha on Days of Our Lives, if anybody remembers that. So now I'm super excited. We're actually heading to their lab, which is the most exciting thing to me. I've always been so interested in like product development and packaging and ingredients and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna take you with me to the lab. I'm hoping I get to wear a hairnet. I don't think there are hairnets involved, but safety goggles. watch some micas for you not the normal like eyeshadow lipstick thing we're getting really technical really sciencey here you probably know which mica I'm gonna go with one is green one is gold but let's do this oh that is really pretty you should make an eyeshadow out of this too look at that I'm gonna go with the gold in my in my cream coming soon to Olay <laughs> Here is my finished cream, super thick and gold, hashtag science.
So we're here using the Vizia 7 and I'm getting my skin analysis. Check out these digs. Oh no, it's so nice. Oh, this is what I wish my bathroom looked like. Oh, it's gorge. We brought our bags up already. I'm just checking in now. We've been uh, on the go since about four o'clock this morning. This is so cute. Welcome to Cincinnati. Thanks so much for joining this beauty experience. We can't wait to. Oh, so cute. A hat. Probably get like tortured for wearing that in Toronto. And a bunch of goodies. Let's open these up on the bed. Ooh, I've seen these little um, mini razors. It's good for travel. Some deodorant. A little bit of shampoo. Shaving cream, which I need to do a better job at using. I almost always skip it. <laughs> uh, what is this? Moisturizer. Ooh, this eye cream looks nice. Dark circles, wrinkles, and puffiness. Thank you, yes. So I am just sitting around getting ready, or not getting ready, for dinner. We're heading out in about 40 minutes, a place here near the hotel. Just noticing, good morning, <laughs> these bathroom walls, look, it's got a nose and a mouth and a booby on the shower, I think. A little belly button action, were you gonna get, getting crazy down low? No, okay, dirty mind. It's a new day. We are getting ready to head back to the P&G offices. It's a half day today. We're wrapping up. Really, really quick trip, but I feel like we fit so much into it. And I studied marketing. I've always been so intrigued by like consumer behavior, product development, the choices that brands make, why they put something in, why they take something out, why they advertise something a certain way. So it has just been so cool to get to chat with all of these incredibly powerful decision makers in like one of the biggest companies um, in the in this industry so freaking cool but today it is all about hair which is really intriguing to me so I'm definitely gonna ask lots of questions about sulfates parabens silicones because I know that all of those things get such a bad rap and I know that necessarily they're not always a bad thing like anything you have the choice like I say this all the time but whether I recommend something or someone else recommends something or whatever it might be you don't have to buy it do your research figure out what's gonna work for you so but I am really curious to ask these people about those things because I mean they probably invest millions if not billions of dollars into research and developing their products so I'll report back Okay, so we are back in the lab and we're gonna be creating our own scents for shampoos. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. We've got a bunch of like different scents here and then we need to put in, you can see here, things like top notes, mid notes, and base notes. And then these are gonna go into our own little shampoos. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I feel like it's getting a little bit lengthy. I'm at a Starbucks right now, waiting for my Greyhound bus. I'm gonna meet up with my friend who lives in Ohio, but I learned so much, so I'm definitely gonna elaborate more on like ingredients and the things I learned to do a little bit more research on my own, but 
overall um, I just was really impressed to come on this trip and I know it's not like the sexiest trip ever but I've always been so interested in this kind of thing and I think that the transparency um, and the fact that they invited us here to show us what they do show us what they believe in show us what they're so passionate about I mean um, I think it's pretty amazing and I'm so incredibly grateful to be a part of it so a big thank you to Procter & Gamble for having me a big thank you to you for watching my channel and allowing me to come do this kind of thing um, and I'm actually gonna start editing this vlog right now bye guys